Hey YouTube, how's it going? What's up guys? It's been a long time. So, um, hope everybody's doing well out there and staying safe. You know, it's a new year for this, uh, February, so um, new month. So let's get started. Um, we're going to be learning about HTML forms. So in this lesson, we'll cover how to add a form element populated with various elements that accept input on a web page. And the part we're going to be working on is adding a label. All right, let's jump into it. HTML forms. Adding a label. In the previous exercise, we created an input element, but we didn't include anything to explain what the input is used for. For a user to properly identify an input, we use the appropriately named label element. The label element has an open, opening and closing tag and displays text that is written between the opening and closing tags. To associate a label and an input, the input needs an ID attribute. We then assign for attribute of the label element with the value of the ID attribute of the input, like so. So this is the code right here. Let's check it out. Form action equals quote forward slash example dot HTML quote method equals quote post quote and closing your less than and greater than sign. So your label for equals quote mill quote the text right here. What do you want to eat? The label is surrounded by a label. BR, remember that's break. Input element input type equals text name food ID meal form. The code above vendors. What do you want to eat? Look now. Users know what the input element is for. Another benefit for using the label element is when the, this element is clicked, the corresponding input is highlighted slash selected. Let's see the label element in action. All right, so um, add a label element that is associated with the Included input element in the index.html for use the for attribute. Then add text username within the label element. After clearing this checkpoint, click on the username label in the web browser to see the corresponding input field selected. All right, let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to make it right here. So first we got to put our label. L A B E L for equals user name Okay. Uh, let's run that. We got it there. So add any label element associated with the input element index we use for. It did that. Good. That was it, guys. Well, let's see. Then add the then add text username within the label element. We should also like close this as well. So username label. Here you go. Run it again. Here you go. So if I type John, let's see what happens. It'll label John to username for username John. So username. Okay, so we did it. Label four equals username um, quote and then username label. So yeah, guys, there we go. 
we learn about adding a label 